I'm here with Bobby and Michelle. You're gonna get to see who they are in this exclusive food tour. Let me just give you a little hint. They're basically Key West royalty and they own a lot of restaurants here in Key West. Hey everyone, I'm Alexandra and this weekend I'm staying in Key West, but this is a very special feature. I'm here with Michelle and Bobby. They are true Key West natives, and they're going to be giving me an, ex an exclusive tour of all their restaurants. And right now, we are inside their beautiful home. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming and enjoying our restaurants. Well, thank and you our for having us. Home. Bobby, tell us a little bit about your restaurants and the ones that we'll be visiting. We're going to visit the Hogfish. This is the mother of all restaurants. Because we love Hogfish, we started the restaurant, built the restaurant around a Hogfish sandwich. It's right on the water with the shrimp boats in the background. Rustica, Italian, we love pizzas, we're making pizza at home. We said we can't make pizzas at home anymore. We're gonna open a restaurant. We built Rustica eight years ago. Finally, we're gonna take you guys up to Geiger Key Marina. We've owned it 25 years, we've owned this little marina, RV Park. But in the middle of it is the greatest seafood restaurant called the Fish Can. You can actually bring your boat up, flay your fish, and bring it in the kitchen and we'll cook your catch. Unbelievable. Beautiful. Michelle, tell me a little bit about your beautiful home. Oh boy, we've been here for nine years. Uh, we did a lot of renovations right in the beginning and then slowly just keep doing some tweaking here and there. I'm forever changing, you know, my style. Mm -hmm. So I just keep everything rotating. We love entertaining. We do a lot of outdoor cooking. You have the grill in which you made the lobster for us? Yes, yes, we love that art of flame. That was a birthday present mm -hmm. for Bob. A few years ago, we just, we love cooking. We're now driving through the very popular Duval Street, which attracts millions of visitors. We're crossing this area before we get to the first stop of the food tour in Stock Island, where you'll find strong drinks and the freshest seafood straight from the boats. Well, today we are checking out Hogfish Bar and Grill in Stock Island, and we're going to meet up with Bobby. It's in a very residential area. So basically, you're coming to a restaurant where all the locals go. We're back here again today at Hogfish. Thanks for having us. All right. um, so I want to know what makes Hogfish so popular. Well, what happened in 2002? We moved out here. The people were looking for the old Key West because most of the shrimp boats were gone from Key West Park, and they all moved to Stock Island. So if you look in the background here, all the shrimp boats are here now. The fishing boats are here now. The lobster boats are here now. Yeah. And it actually was in Stock Island. So when we opened in 2002, we became a destination for the old Key West, the way Key West used to be. I see there are a lot of really cool decorations. Um, does your wife Michelle have something to do with that design? A little bit. I can take all the credit for that. He's an avid junk collector. You can see all around. Sometimes you mean people throwing out an old fish. That that fish we found behind an old restaurant. Somebody was throwing out and refurbished it. What do you have? Popular dish. What did people order? Well, the dish that made this the restaurant it is, the famous dish, was a hog killer hogfish sandwich. Because in 2002, nobody was selling hogfish. Nova had fried hogfish. So we would go out, we would spear the hogfish, and we would actually serve it with grilled mushrooms, onions, and cheese. And we started these killer hogfish sandwiches on Cuban bread made the whole restaurant around one sandwich. Alright, so they have some great drinks here and then now I'm gonna get the watermelon mojito. Because you know mojitos are a big deal here in Key West and I love watermelon. You come here and it's a very homey feel. Everyone is super nice. The service is great. It's very it's very family oriented. And Bobby's son and we just had crab cakes handmade with the most crab you'll find in any other crab cake. Like it's cleaning. It has a lot of crab inside. It's delicious. And the shrimp just came off of the grill. Black into perfection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out this truck right here. It's uh, made by a local artist. Lots of shells as you can see. Great photo opportunity. Next up is Rustica Pizzeria, the family-oriented local pizza joint that Key West was yearning for. 
Bobby and Michelle love pizza so much that they got tired of making it at home just for themselves and decided to open Rustica. They even traveled to Naples, Italy and ate pizza there for eight days straight so that they could figure out the type of pizza they wanted to serve. Now that's good research. They serve a Neapolitan style pizza, but they add their own twist to it. Everything is fresh, bread is made from scratch each morning, and they also have seafood, pasta, and classic cocktails. We've been here for almost nine years now. Um, we traveled extensively before we opened this, trying out different ovens, just like sampling pizza, to the point that we just couldn't take it anymore. We always wanted a pizza joint, so we just built this place. We built it around those ovens that you see over yeah. there. And this was just a, a warehouse that we just slowly yeah. turned into Rustica. What would you say is the most popular dish here at Rustica? All our pizzas are crazy. Eggplant sacks, very unique. Everybody loves it. The Rotolos are, are amazing. They're just like little savory cinnamon rolls. People go crazy for those. Our pastas, yeah. everything is so good. And then the seafood. We do hot fish piccata. We do so many different things in the oven. And of course, you're going to try tonight our oysters rock cellar that'll blow you away. Those ovens, you just char them perfectly. And when we try to figure out which oven we were going to use, we did a lot of research. And we ended up with this oven here. It's built in Glendale, California by Armenians. It's actually a bread baking oven converted to a wood fired oven. These are called earth stone ovens. So, ordered two of them one for pizzas and one for appetizers. So, it's, it's not an Italian oven, but it's the greatest oven in America. All right, so that's it for Rutica in Stock Island. That was great. Yeah. Now, on to, uh -huh. it's Alex. Yes. So, <laughs> on to the next one tomorrow. Now we're gonna go back in time to really experience the Keys the way the locals do. We're headed to a marina where you can camp out in your RV, have your boat docked right behind you, go fishing, and eat at their restaurant. And finally, we are at Geiger Key Marina, our last stop of the food tour. Bobby, tell us a little bit about the history of Geiger Key. Well, this marina out here was an old RV park about 60 years ago, these guys built it. We're about 10 miles from Key West. If you look out front, that's the actual, that's the original US-1 before it was moved to the train track, the Flagler Railroad track. So this is actually old school. What they did, the bridges have been taken out, which means that the marina is kind of lost in time back here. So you can come in by boat from okay. Key West for 10 miles, or you can drive and come down Boca Chica Road. So this has got a lot of history back here. 60 years, this marina 60 marina's years here. of history. Yes. And what's the connection between Geiger Key Marina and Miami? Well, this little marina right here was an old smuggling marina. A piece of property across the way okay. had 18 wheelers full of bales. This little canal here connected over to Shark Channel. It would actually drop the bales out here in front of Saddle Hill, mm -hmm. bring the bales in by boat, and come up these old canals here and unload them. So no there's way. a lot of history back here. Then they would put them in trucks and haul them up to Miami. I found a bale out here uh, 35 years ago. 35 years ago, bales were out here. 35 years, okay, wow. Okay, so Michelle and Bobby, the food and the drinks here are delicious. What are the, some of the stuff that you've curated? Oh boy, we change our menu uh, twice a year. We, we get so inspired by different things and we just love giving everyone something different. So we get bored, we change the menu, we love the fresh seafood, we focus on fresh seafood, we have our seafood tacos, we have cocktails here, tiki cocktails. I mean, look at this view. Yeah, it's great. Just sit here and have, you know, watermelon martinis, margaritas, Bloody Mary, spicy Bloody Mary for our brunch. It's amazing. I mean, we just sit here and just an ever-changing menu, great specials, fresh seafood, where the fishermen eat, so you can't beat it. And number one dish that someone needs to try when they come? Oh my gosh, oh, it's hogfish. Hogfish, hogfish, for sure. hogfish. Tuna nachos, too. You know, our, our shrimp is to die for. If he wants pinks, you can't get anything fresher or better than that. So I'm here with Devin. He is the shrimp pimp of Key West and let me tell you the shrimp is delicious so tell us a little bit about what makes it the best quality quality and customer service for sure we really pride ourselves on customer service and making sure everybody gets what they want and exactly what it is they want on the right time especially 
and of course the quality i mean you can't beat it we got the best pink shrimp coming from the best place in america you know yeah. key west florida getting it right off the boat and, and they're you know, huge we do it, the biggest shrimp around and how about the process that you were telling me about well shrimp process first they get it from the boat then they take them to the manufacturing manufacturer then they process them to separate the shrimp you know grading count say 26 30 26 30 shrimp to a pound and they separate them out and then they send it back to us and we give them to the, to the restaurants at Key West. So how did you get into the shrimp business? It's not that common. Yeah. Well, my dad's been in seafood my whole life. Actually, my whole family has. He's been okay. in seafood and restaurants my whole life. So I moved away to college. I played football, came back and decided why not take on the family business. I'm taking on the family business, especially with this new social media era right now. Kind of transformed a lot of things because my dad, you know, he didn't. It wasn't. It didn't have really that platform name the way it should. So we thought, what a better name to come right. up with is Shrimp Pimp. You know what I mean? Came up with Shrimp Pimp Key West, and it's literally been all uphill from there. Born and raised born in Key West. Raised, born and raised. You? Born and raised. Yep. Born and raised the day I died, baby. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything, Michelle. It was great hanging out with you this weekend. Thanks for everything. Cheers. cheers. And cheers. See you soon. See you soon. And I think Bobby's gonna take us out on a. A little tour of his backyard now. What he does. Well, that concludes the Key West food tour with all of Bobby and Michelle's restaurants. Bobby, thank you so much once again for having us and let everyone know where they can find you. Listen, guys, thanks for coming down. Thanks for coming to the Hogfish Bar and Grill. Gagger Key Marina, the Rooster Co Pizzeria. Our family really appreciates it. So we'll see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any other ones.